I need something really extravagant. Sometimes I just like to chill. <clears throat> Oh, we like bougie nails. What can we say? We like bougie nails. Yes, I do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Especially when you have an event. Who got you? John got you. <laughs> you want those nails that people say, oh, where did you get your nails from? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's another set. Last set of the night, guys, and then I gotta go. Probably gonna relax tonight. Catch you guys tonight for the Q&A. Good evening. Hopefully I'll pin my Instagram this time the right way. There you go. Using up my rest of my mind right here. I'm gonna use a 10 brush today because the client's hand is a little bit smaller. So we're gonna probably do a triple ombre and some sugaring and some butterflies or something like that. Or some shit. Alright, guys. Like always, thank you for joining me. Appreciate the shares. Um, And dun, dun, dun. it's gonna be a lot of colors there. And we'll see you guys. As always, um, the giveaway is gonna happen when I'm in New York. So make sure you follow the Instagram. And don't forget to set the alert, that bell. You missed the post, you'll miss the giveaway. I'm probably gonna give away marmer and some chisel powder, something like that. So I'm gonna do a triple ombre on some of these. And some of these, I'm just gonna do one solid color and, and do design. Let's start with this yellow first. This yellow is very pretty. From Chisel. I'm gonna leave these two fingers for the design. Do the rest ombre. So I'm going to do yellow, peach, to nude, pink. Should be a good combo. Almost going to look like a sunset. Just nice and even. We'll do three not we'll do three ombres, we'll do three colors in this. So we're gonna set the yellow a little bit lower than we usually start it. Hello Deja, how are you? It's the last side of the day. I'll see you guys tonight for the QA for sure. And tomorrow I'll be my last day of work, then I'll Sunday I'll leave for Chicago. Okay, let's see this peach. Kind of like a papaya color. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit. Get that blend in. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my god. It's pretty pretty. Oh, giving me sex on the beach vibe. Yeah, sex on the beach vibe for sure. Nudie, nude pink on top. Honestly, like this ombre, the way it was. 
Maybe I just need a darker nude, but I'm gonna keep this ombre because that is a really pretty blend. And I'm gonna skip on the nude this time. All right, guys. That blend was oof. Oh, so. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, I like that better. Maybe next time I'll do the chip ombre, but this time I'm gonna keep it like this. These two colors just go so well together. Hey, honey red, how are you thinking of the stars? Mm. Yeah, this, this ombre is zip. This will hit the spot. Almost like a papaya color that we got here. Mm. Let me do the blend. Let me do the blend bead first. Okay, I'll show you guys. It's easier to do the blend bead first if you're new at doing ombre. And then you can do the cuticle bead after you do your blend bead. Less for your control. So with this bead, you only just gotta worry about the blend. You don't have to worry about um, doing the cuticle. So now you can do the cuticle bead. Now you don't have to worry about the blend bead. You break it down to two more beads, so it definitely makes it easy for you to do ombre. With those other practicing how to do ombre. And these colors are really natural, nice. They blend together really well. I would recommend starting out doing ombres, doing the really dominant colors. See, you break it down so that you don't have to worry about flooding the cuticles and also doing the, the bead, the blend bead. So it makes it easier for you to, to you know, just work in the ombre. I'm gonna do this to cut these two solid. Do a nice two bead process here. Make sure we shape our nails so we don't have to shape too much later with the hand power. Of course, I appreciate you guys following the IG, turn up the notification, and show some love on my posts. Bookmark, share, comment, like, whatever you need to do. There you go. And this is my second bead. This is the key where I'm gonna do my cuticle area. Also blend in. And then you just go see the proper apex and everything. So fairly easy. On all on, on the days work with application. Mm -hmm. My mom works so good with chisel powder. I'm probably going to give away on my IG this weekend, probably 16 ounce monomer, maybe five chisel powder. Yeah? yeah, that's a good giveaway this weekend. So don't miss that. Follow that IG, turn up that notification, that bell, slide over, make sure you get it.
So 16 ounce monomer and five chisel powder. That's a good giveaway. A nice weekend giveaway. And I'll put that out for two days or a day and then I'll announce the winner. I still gotta do that freaking press on set for the last winter. I'm so busy. I have to schedule some time though. But at 20K, I'm giving away a whole student kit, y'all. Same consistency. Just nice, moderate apex. Application is so much. Oh, that's cute. This is 162 and 187. Sorry. I didn't post a color because I have so many, but. A chisel. Hmm? Paradise on uh, vacation. <laughs> Greetings from Bonaire. Where's that? Interesting. Sounds like an island. Bonaire. Bonaire. Am I saying it wrong? Probably. The critics are pretty, isn't it? Thank you for the stars, Royal. How you been, Royal? Atlanta coming up next month. Hope you've been practicing your nails. Get ready for the second class, third class. You're about to go upgrade again. And then after L I think after Atlanta, you'll be ready for the master class when we come back to the East Coast. If I catch you traveling in the West Coast with with me, I'm. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Jen. You're probably taking the most of my classes, especially you and Garrett are the two that are taking the most. And I think um, Triana, she's getting there too. This is her third one also. Love my repeating students, returning students. Can't fault you for the growth. One, two, and three. And the bead will be nice and buttery. It looks like butter too. <laughs> Looks like Lano Lakes. <laughs> this color doesn't look like butter. <laughs> I'm literally laying butter, guys. What color is this? I'm gonna have to do a demo with this. More island and Dutch Caribbean. Ooh, okay. Thank you, Daisha. You know I get down. You might catch me anywhere. <laughs> We're gonna do our blend bead first and give about one, two, three. Let that powder marble. We'll place it right down here. Reposition the bead. Drag for the blend. And now we'll go ahead up and we'll go do the cuticle bead. One, two, three. I would love to meet your husband again, Jen, next time you come. Is he coming to ATL with you? I'm sure he is, right? Jen, does your husband come to your ATL with you? Oh, y'all got a whole y'all got a whole team coming to ATL. I remember you guys are staying together and you and um Tomorrow, Lundy. This is a freestyle? Yeah, I'm just freestyling right now. Pick the colors. I just I did a mint earlier, so I decided to do a nice paradise looking set. One, two, a tree. Mm 
Look at that. Love me, Ombre. Love me, Ombre. So I waited, I did, I did one second too soon and it's still a little bit runny. That's how much a one second will, will matter. So make sure you get your timing down right, okay? Your ratio is down good, your timing good, your powder should be very nice and buttery. It will pretty much do anything. One, two, three, like that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have three nail clients tomorrow? I don't know, you'd be booking them. I still remember when you first didn't take my client and my, my class, you were barely doing nails. Now you do nails all the time. Isn't that crazy, Jen? Before you took my first private class, you weren't like, you were only doing lashes and nails and after that class, boom, nails, 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 nails. I like that, I like how you learn and you execute. That's how you grow. Less to have clients, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. I got a busy month this month actually after Chicago I'll be here for a, I'll be back in Orlando for a week and then I'm flying out again for Houston got something going on there There we go. I'm just gonna put some little bit clear to cap our ombre. We should be good. Those colors, I know, right? I just picked them out of the fly. Whatever. Put a little clear here. Cap our ombre so we don't drill into it and ruin it, all right? It's very important. Uh, if you're heavy handed or, or your or your color it's very dominant and it's very hard. You make sure you camp this and make sure you protect it. The last thing you want to do is over file, over drum, boom, it's gone. It doesn't mean you're going to put thick on. You're not going to put on thicky, okay? Not too thick. That's enough. 
I'm not gonna cap these the two solid one because I don't I don't need to. <laughs> and if it's, it's wet, just let it be. Let it sit. Let it dry a little bit. That's all it is. Capping. No cap. I usually no cap, but definitely capping this time. You see where I'm putting it? Right where the ombre is. That's where I need to protect it the most. And I just move it through the nail. It's very nice and smooth, even. I don't want to create any more bulk than I already have. Okay. Yes, you can use this clear to build any structure that you may be lacking, but if you did a good job and you Pay attention and you do your application good. You really don't need it. This is just your clear, it's just capping, and then you're just using it to fill in some gaps or some small minor details. Okay. Yeah, that's Play on a monomer. Using my last bit of monomer. There you go. See how sticky this monomer is? If this wasn't my last finger, I would definitely not have used it, but it is my last one, so I will deal with it. Usually just switch out your monomer when you get sticky. Because the monomer will get sticky. So I'm going to use the rest of that to clean my brush. Clear and usually always sticks to your brush the most. Make sure you clean it. And you feather the brush, make sure there's no sticky substances so you don't have any acrylic stuck in there. So I'm going to. Get rid of all that. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to go right into shaping, guys. Finishing up here. Use it on the shape a lot because the shape should be already there. That nice and crisp. Are you do have a QA tonight? Yeah, I will have a QA tonight. Got nothing else to do. I drink wine. My nightcap. Every night I have a glass of wine before I go to bed. But when I do a QA, I have a few glasses. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I go through with so much wine, you don't even. You don't even understand how much wine I go through. White or red? Red only. Cabernet. That's it. As you can see, I was shaping with relax. I shaped it with my acrylic, so definitely everything else should be very simple. Sorry, guys, we're able to see that. There you guys go. This is very quick, quick shaping. You got your bottle for tonight. Y'all gonna have a drinking problem following me. Don't blame me, okay? If you have you start developing a drinking problem, okay? It ain't my fault, okay? 
my Q and A is, is, you know, <laughs> what do you guys think? These had to do red wine, yeah, Cabernet. I mean, you gotta, you know what, Tarika, you just gotta drink a couple bottle. I guarantee you, you'll start liking that red wine. <laughs> A lot more than you think that Cabernet it takes a few bottles or a few glasses to get, you know, the palate used to it. Girl, you'd be pounding glasses soon enough. So smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your palate will get used to it, I guarantee you. Haven't seen me live in a minute. <laughs> hey, what's up? You must be missing because I've been here. What have you been doing? Busy? I'm gonna do a little bit of hand filing for this set. I need to do my kids' work and I should be good. clear on here, okay? Don't, don't remove that clear. Also, business Christmas one client day to five a day. Oh shit, that's what's up. I don't think there's any sweet cabernets though. A hint maybe, but cabernets are usually really, really strong and a bit more dry. Sweet ones are like the red blends. We're over here talking about wine. <laughs> super dry. Cabernets are super dry. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is does increase, guys. Go to the right time, time, get the right. When it's your time, it's your time. When it's up, then it's up. All right? Cardi said it. When it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's up. freaking five six years ago 18 20 clients a day burnt out <laughs> work while you still got the energy and the strength you know i know that you can't do it forever the body won't allow it my wife got me on vitamins and shit at night i'm eating like the same gummy bears as my kids <laughs> My kids get some gummy bears. She gets her and give me gummy bears. I'm like, I'm a grown ass man. I'm gonna eat these vitamins. She's like, you better eat them. I'm like, yes, ma'am. My kids be wanting my gummy bears. I'm like, hey, these are mine. Mommy gave these to me. Get your little dirty hands away from me. Eat my Flintstone vitamins. I talked to her, I'm like, am I getting old or something? Why, why am I starting to eat these vitamins like the kids are? 
Yeah. She like, you're traveling a lot, you're working a lot, you stress out all the time, so eat these vitamins. <laughs> she got the, they ain't all them adult vitamins either. I got, I'm on the same one as the kids, man. <laughs> and how many do you take a day? I just take three instead of one. When the kids get them, they only get one. They're looking at me like, why daddy eating our, our candy? I'm like, I'm like, don't give me them little puppy dog eyes. Trying to walk over me, sticking their little tiny hand out, trying to get my gummy. I get three and only get one. I'm working hard. Yeah, I have. Teaching is actually really mentally straining. It's not as easy as people think it is. A lot of responsibility. You're responsible for 20, 30 people, a lot of people. You know, they depend on you, so. A lot more stress than doing nails. You do nails, you do one client at a time. You just make the client happy, you do something repetitive. You know, you're based on your skill. When you're teaching, you're actually teaching other people different different techniques, different levels. Hey, what's up? Marley, how are you? Haven't seen you. All the way from the Philly class. Love that class. That class is a fun class. I think Chicago is going to be wild. Yo, like, I have people in my DMs, like 20, 30 people. It's like, anybody cancel from Chicago class? The Chicago class filled up pretty fast. And I'm like, no. Nope. And I, I, I messaged the, the group. Um, they're like, anyone you guys can't make it, let me know, okay? Because there's people waiting. And so they're like, nope. No, sir. We're all going to be there. That's why ATL and Connecticut about to fill up soon, though. Over 80% capacity already. Damn. All right, close that down soon. Hey, Toronto, how are you? Atlanta, you know what's up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't think of a better state a city to end my tour, my East Coast tour, then Atlanta. After Atlanta, I'm going West Coast. Vegas, ATL, Cali. No Texas. Huh? No Texas. I already did Texas. Texas is not West Coast, that's Central. Look. Everybody needs some nail dye. I thought it was used with hard and are this hard to use in skin to skin. I don't know. These are actually new. I don't like these. My wife just got me these. They, the the powder sticks to them too much. I need to get the, uh, the the smoother ones. Hey, thank you for the love in Portugal. You in Canada? Ooh. Are y'all like closed down or something up there? <laughs> I don't know how Canada's still locked down when we're all down here drinking vaccines. Florida's pumping out a million vaccine a day. And you're talking about adding the third shot and the vaccine. It's like in Canada up there, like I don't know where what what's going on, but they <laughs> damn locked down. I guess in the United States, we do it, we do it big. I'm so tough you. I mean, like, COVID spread fast in the United States? Well, vaccines gonna spread fast too. They got, they got us lined up for the vaccine like freaking Black Friday, y'all. Yeah? Well, they're now talking about you would need it every year. Yeah, whatever, I don't give a shit. As long as, as long as it helps stop the spread and if we get us back to our normal lives, I'll play my part. Yeah, I, I put a clear click on this ombre, or else I wouldn't be I wouldn't be filing like this. If I if I didn't have a clear click on here, if I filed like this, cha, you know that. That's a dumb dumb move. Yep, all that work you did is gone. 
So after I do a hand filing, I'm gonna go through and do the cuticle work and then I'm just gonna buff and I'm good to go with the designing. I'm, I mean like generally if you do really good application, hand filing is very easy, very smooth and not too much work. Yeah, I got really slow on the vaccines. I'm kidding. My Monday though, thank God. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to get them, fine. Don't get them. But just don't discourage others from getting them. <laughs> Johnson Johnson. Johnson Johnson. That's not, uh, that's not the vaccine's fault. That's the company that's making their vaccine's fault. So whoever made Johnson Johnson's vaccine made it wrong. That's all. <laughs> their vaccine works if you make it right. <laughs> just like anything, you know? can't blame the vaccine. It's formulated the same as the other ones. It works. Just the, the subcontractor that they made in that batch. Fucked up, the, fucked up the ingredient. Somebody didn't show up to work sober. So. Uh, somebody pressed something wrong in the computer. Oh, all right. Who was working with the computer that day? <laughs> okay. Here you guys go. Some good old fashioned hand filing. Now I'm gonna do my cuticle work. I'm gonna use my fine sharp bit. This is a sharp five in one cross cut. Oh, Johnson, I would love to be Johnson Johnson's shot. It's a one shot deal. I don't wanna keep going back. Just take the one that makes right. Just see me back in two, three weeks. I think I go back. Yeah, I gotta take my second shot late. I'll be in Texas, so I'll take it a few days late. I get back. But at least you'll have it. Yeah. I got, I got small kids. I travel. I gotta be responsible. Clean the cuticle area, make sure it's nice and flush. So it doesn't lift peroni. Hey, I knew cutting my nails down was a good idea. Huh? I knew cutting my nails down before your magic to you was a good idea. Hmm. Who would have thought? Hey, what's up, sorry, how are you? You are late. You can get it four weeks after. I get the shot. Oh, four, oh, four to six weeks? Oh, okay. Shit. That's fine then. I thought that the date they put on there is like, like, oh man, like it's time sensitive. Cuticle work, relax. Yeah, stop focusing on what I'm doing. That's why you're tensing up. Just relax. There you go. Look at that nice wall. <laughs> Tell me bricks there in that wall. Let me know when you're done, okay? Yeah, you guys ever want your clients to relax? Put like a puzzle on your wall. Tell them look at it and solve the puzzle. No, I was looking at the shiny stuff on his. It distracts them, and they don't look at what you're doing, and they don't tense up. I forgot, I've been doing it one
that nice and flush. You don't get any of that lift. Nice, nice and less. Yep, it is. This is my uh, two and one. This is my five and one um, cross cut. Fine bit. The sharp version. Yeah, did my key to go work? It's right into that key to go area. Nice and easy. I know it's a little bit harder to get around the cuticle area, but you gotta you gotta get in there. I can't get to get hang of it. It takes time. It takes like I mean like listen, this is not something you get a hang of. This is something you keep doing over and over and over until it becomes part of your muscle memory. To get hang of this, you have to do sets. It's hard to just, you know, practice cuticle is hard to practice with because you need to actually do a client. And for a lot of you guys that don't have clientele, it's hard for you to actually master this. But for those of you guys that have clientele and you're consistently doing it over and over and over, days and days and days, just slowly, you'll definitely eventually get it, you know? Think of it that way, you know? It's definitely harder for you if you don't have clientele. It's all about muscle memory. Just like that. And we're almost finished here. We're gonna do a nice, nice buff with the buffing black. Smooth everything out. I wanna go and put do some designs on this. I'm gonna do some uh, powder and then uh, sugaring, and then I'm gonna put a nice little butterfly on here, watercolor butterfly. And I'll bring the whole set together. It's beautiful. Oh man, you are tense. Mm -hmm. Cause you know why? Why are you watching me? Uh -huh. You gonna add a little bit of red to this set? It's whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Sure, creation. I'm just paying for it. I mean, add a little red. If you, if you keep tensing that, we'll add a little red to it around the cuticle area. <laughs> 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 you ever seen those red, red blood designs? The real ones? Yeah, I'll probably do a Q&A today. Chill day for me.
And you guys go. Now we just buff this real nice. And we got our buff real nice because we did hand filing, so we leave indents in there. Make sure we use our buffing block and we just get real nice buff on it. Smooth everything out. been about under an hour so stuff like this would be sub one hour there you go wash your hands Ooh. i'll get the gel machine real quick guys excuse me going to use this I don't know if you guys ever do watercolor butterflies before but I can cut these out put them in water I think I'm gonna use the smallest ones here cut them as close as possible to the white area so you get less less clear and you pretty much just put water in it into water or something and then it just comes apart and you put it on top of the nail. The nail's pretty small, so hopefully this butterfly will fit. You don't want you don't want too much of that white, okay? That white area will be like a clear transfer. That's one butterfly. This one here looks pretty. That's dos. Dos manitos. What I'm gonna do though, 
Show you guys a little neat trick here. <laughs> so dirty. You take the water, some damn butterflies in there. <laughs> Let them swim, swim, my little fishies. I recommend putting some kind of base coat so that it sticks a little bit better. But sometimes when I'm, I'm gonna put some kind of like a base coat, okay. So what this does is it gives it a little bit more sticky surface so that it stays. If you do this on top of dry sometimes, it will leave like maybe like a, a residue or it won't attach this the base of the nail, so it won't actually look that good. So be careful with that. Put both fingers in there. Mm -hmm. So now this has a base, so it's like kind of sticky. So when you stick this on here, attach. It attaches a little bit better than it would if you just put on like a gut. So this was dry. This, tat this will not, just, I'm about to say tattoo because you said to put tattoo. I hate you. <laughs> so this, this thing comes out too. This one plastic behind this and this also. Place it down, place it down, place it down. It's nice. You remove the clear. So usually if you do this on top of a dry surface, you might have like a little bit of a bump or like a little bit, like a, it won't stick as well, but this sticks really well. So now that's from like a base coat, base coat will leave a sticky surface. We're gonna actually go ahead and top coat these two fingers before we do the other design. I'm just gonna top coat everything because I'm doing a sugaring effect, and that has to go on top of a top coat surface, anyways. You gotta stop leaving your hand, you child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why? You're so tense. I don't know why. I'm relaxing. <laughs> it's like you're flexing your hands for no reason. I was low key trying to bring my Apple Watch to my face because it looks like something's You're bringing your Apple Watch to your face, right? Nope. Can't do it now. Give me the hand. I want to talk about these two. Look how pretty this looks. The ombre. It's like a sunset. 
You're so tense, you're making me like lean myself out. Yeah. I'm crying inside. I'm untense. I'm untense. Yeah, intense. Go. See? I'm The lamp? Yeah. It's turning off because I keep knocking these buttons with my oh, hand. Okay, I was like, because your hand is like right here. Is it a glitch? Is it So now I'm gonna take this powder. Where's that at? It's like a glitter, orange powder. Nope, not this. Nope, not this. Here it is. Ooh. I'm surprised you didn't use that for long. No, it's the glitter will overwhelm everything. I'll take over the whole nail. I'm gonna take a little bit of white gel polish and do some design here. I need to watch. Strange. Dang it. They're flooded. I don't want it to flood. Oh my god. He caused the tsunami.
So I don't cure the white yet until I go in the machine. I sprinkle on the glitter, get the machine. What's the glitter is going to take on this white? And it'll cure on top of this top coat and have that nice texture look. Anyway, all you do is dust off the excess because it won't bond the top coat. You get yourself a nice cured white orange. Cutesy, cutesy. See, so it's cured on like that. It's nice and textured. It won't come off. And it won't, won't stain the other stuff. And there you have it. Take the other one out. Make sure you use the gel polish that's not too runny. There we go, guys. Some nice ombre, seasonal, the colors. Hit up with some heated oil. The ombres, I love these two colors. Wow, it's like a sunset. And the reason why we put the top one first is now it's just gonna lay on top of the top coat. It doesn't have any issues. It's like a nice medium short shaping ski. Thank you, Helen. Sharp. The peach color is chisel 187. You can get it at any local nut supply store online. No, this is not. This is watercolor butterfly. This is something I have this salon. I'll bring it in. I actually prefer the watercolor over the um, stickers. I might have to bring in some. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys later. I am done for the night. And as always, please follow the Instagram and turn on the notification. I will announce my giveaway for chisel powder and the monomer. And then I'm in Chicago this weekend. So good luck to you guys. And make sure you show some love by following and commenting and sharing content creators work. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll see you guys tonight for the Q&A.